ladies and gentlemen, you know, earlier this week, I did a story on Federal Navy and their practice of discrimination when it comes down to mortgages for Black service members. And Benjamin Crump has now stepped up to the plate and he filed a class action lawsuit against Navy Federal Credit Union. So let's talk about it, y'all. So Federal Credit Union, this is the largest credit union in the U.S. is facing a class action lawsuit accusing it of racial discrimination in its home mortgage practices. Now, when I did that video, there were quite a few service members and veterans that said they even applied for the loans with good credit and were turned down. In many cases, they had more salary than some of the white service members that applied for the same loan and they got approved. And a lot of the black members were turned down. But when they went to other mortgage companies, they got approved. So civil rights attorney Ben Crump and Adam Levitt filed a class action lawsuit Sunday in federal court in Virginia on the behalf of Sherelle uh, Jacob. She's a 40-year-old Black resident of Washington State. And her husband, who was also in the armed forces. And there were other service members, a Black resident of Miami-Dade County, Florida. And it's been many over the years. And from what I was understanding from the comments, this has been going on for many years. So, you know, these folks are saying they were rejected for a home loan with great credit and six figure incomes. Wow, that is pretty messed up. You have all that going for yourself and you get turned down anyway. Yeah, that says a lot about this credit union. You know, it kind of makes you wonder why the feds did not go in and do anything, you know, because they clearly violated the Fair Housing Act of 1968 and the Equal Credit Opportunity Act. They violated both of those things. So the... Navy Federal, they lend to military members. Now, they started out lending to the Navy, and then they expanded it to all service members. So, and it includes defense personnel, veterans, and their families. And they approve more than 75% of the white borrowers who applied for new conventional home loans. And according to the data that less than 50% of black borrowers who applied for these loans were approved. But these same people, when they went to other mortgage companies, they had no problem getting approved at all. So you're not talking about service members that were black with bad credit. They actually had good credit and good income. And the U.S. federal, I'm sorry, the U.S. Navy Federal Credit Union turned them down anyway. So they go on to say, when describing its corporate values, Navy Federal claims that it champions communities and that it is dedicated to embracing and celebrating diversity and inclusion in all communities it serves, the complaint states. Well, obviously you weren't doing that. You weren't doing that if something like this was going on. And you know what? A lot of times these companies do know these things that are going on, 
But as long as they're not getting caught, they don't concern themselves with it. But see, now that this has been brought to light, oh yeah, they, they believe in diversity now. Okay. So the Navy Federal's claim of community support is meaningless in the face of its action. Systemic discrimination in housing in violation of federal law. That's why I'm saying, why didn't the feds step in there and shut this down? That's my question. So they said a nearly 30% gap between Navy federal home mortgage approval rates between white and black members. The outright discrimination that occurs when banking while black continues to reveal itself in the lending practices of many of America's largest financial institution, Crump stated in the complaint. It's shameful that the Navy Federal, an organization that prides itself in helping the families of men and women who serve their country, does not give their Black and Latino customers the same opportunities as white customers. The Navy Federal isn't the first financial institution Crump has filed a class action against. In May, Crump and a former Los Angeles Mayor Willie Brown filed a class action suit against Wells Fargo, accusing it of denying loans to minority applicants at unprecedented rates during the pandemic when the interest rates dropped to historic low. The case is still pending. Well, Wells Fargo, <laughs> Wells Fargo, I am not shocked over Wells Fargo at all. Okay. That, <laughs> that is one bank. They are so shady. I am not shocked over that at all. Uh -uh. It, it seems like nothing shocks me when it comes down to Wells Fargo. For real. So Navy Federal responded to the class action lawsuit and in a press release, they said they are treating the allegations very seriously and have retained leading civil rights attorney, Debel P. Adegbile, I think that's how it's pronounced, a former commissioner on the United States Commission on Civil Rights and his team to assess its mortgage lending policies, practices, and make recommendations to drive further access to home ownership. You know, when I had my first story on this come out, some of the people that responded said they had applied years ago and the same thing happened to them. So if their intentions were good, they would never have carried this practice out of discrimination for decades. They would never have done it. So obviously, you know, now that they're caught, they're probably trying to straighten it all out, you know, after the fact. But now it is really public. So y'all, please tell me what you think about this video. And, you know, it, unfortunately, you wouldn't even need laws if things were just fair across the board. But we know that's never going to happen. So here we are. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.